The castle of Dunstaffenage is simply shrouded in history. This is where the Scots brought the Stone of Destiny, on which all Scottish kings were crowned for 500 years, from Ireland, before eventually being moved to Schoon in Perthshire in the 9th century. In 1746, Flora Macdonald, the Scottish heroine who helped Bonnie Prince Charlie escape from the clutches of the government troops, was imprisoned here for a few weeks, en route to the Tower of London. She was pardoned and eventually she emigrated to America, only to return to Skye and die an old woman in the very bed Bonnie Prince Charlie had slept in. The Corrin Esplanade overlooks the bay and the Isle of Kerrera. Corrin Esplanade is very convenient for the shops, restaurants and bars of the town, just a short walk along the sweep of the bay, always busy with craft of all sizes plying back and forth. In the far distance lies the island of Mull and the hills of Morvern, which we visit later. Indeed, the long green island of Kerrera virtually landlocks Oban Bay and provides shelter against the westerly winds. Visible on the northern tip of the island is the Hutchison Memorial, commemorating David Hutchison, who in 1835 started a steamer service which, with the help of his son-in-law, David McBreen, developed into the Caledonian McBreen, or Calmac of today. The vessels dominate the harbour when at the quayside, and on occasions two pass each other as the Mull ferry returns and the one to the Western Isles departs. During the Second World War, this was an RAF base for Catalina flying boats, which looked after the Atlantic convoys. Planes from here were involved in the tailing of Bismarck during its last few days. Interestingly, Bismarck himself was one of the many historical characters to have visited Oban, as did Disraeli, Stanley, Garibaldi and Livingston, as well as Sir Walter Scott, Turner and Mendelssohn. Located on Stafford Street is the Oban Distillery, which offers regular guided tours throughout the day, with local and knowledgeable guides and a first-class retail outlet. Whilst it is unusual to find a distillery in the town centre, it is only a short distance from the sea and is built directly under the cliffs. All this creates a whisky with the hint of sea salt and a peaty smokiness that is the very essence of a fine West Highland single malt. <laughs>